PBS kids are really up in their quality lately, huh? Gentlemen, welcome to my friendly neighborhood. This is a horror game that just came out yesterday, and we're playing it. From the appearance of things, it seems we'll be playing with the cast of Sesame Street. Or Jim Henson, depending if we live through this or not. Too far, Don. Too far. Okay. Last job of the day. What's this one about? Why do we sound like a 1920s detective? Vacant studio lot regained power last night and began televising over top normal programming. The client has requested that the broadcast array on top of the central hotel be disabled to prevent further incidents. So as per usual, we're cleaning up someone else's mess. Look at the bottom there, Donald. Note, crewman O'Brien is on probation for sullen and impolite behavior towards clients. Failure to satisfactorily complete this work order will result in termination. Yeah, that sounds just like you, Donald. Well, the world's best repairman is here to get the job done. Now, how do I move around? That's always something you want to hear. I'm the best, but I don't know how to move. That's what you sound like. Press escape, Don. Well, no help to you, nincompoops. My elite problem-solving skills have gotten us out of this mess. Uh, Joe quite literally told you what to press. Disable the antenna. Uh, the last job of the day is always the worst. Damn, this TV station is built like the Wayne Tower. Yeah, seems like there's an awful lot to this place. No kidding if there's a whole aviary for this place. It seems like we might be here for a while, but we should probably start with the big building in front of us. This just screams Los Angeles. Wouldn't be surprised if we saw some stars on Hollywood Boulevard. Got a door animation. There's an elevator. Maybe it still works. Nice place we have here. Reminds me of one of my hotel entrances. That's why I felt uncomfortable entering here. Oh, I see where we are. Something tells me that this is going to be a long game. You are right about the decor part, Donald. The hell is this? Well, I didn't know that would happen, but I guess we have a medallion now. These games typically have puzzles to them. We'll most likely need that later. Do I put it in here or something? That thing was as big as a horse testicle. I doubt you can just slot that in a coin grabber. Probably something we'll get later if my judgment is correct. Ring me. Okay. Should I be doing this, Joe? Why are you asking me? You're the one playing the game. Oh, what the hell sort of musical box did I just open? I look away for one second, and this happens. Donald did something he wasn't supposed to. I had no choice. Raise the curtain. The hell? Did Bring someone forget to lights. throw out a cum the sock? The neighborhood is coming to town. Uh, hello. And he just I'm treats the situation like normal. The Television's heartbeat has returned. A spirit of cheer brightens every child's eye. The cry goes round the kindergarten class. The neighborhood. The neighborhood. I want to strangle this okay. thing. Leave your aggression for the actual I, I'm game. I'm here to disconnect the antenna. I am Ricky the Sock. Your television will never be the same. We hold on. Did you say disconnect the antenna? Shut the hell up, yes. Ricky. I'm here to do oh a job. Oh my! No, 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 no! You mustn't do that. That would be a catastrophe. It's broadcasting over the news. The news? No, no, trust yeah, we're gonna me. Die the antenna here. is Glad just you're being optimistic. It doesn't need any disconnecting. Tell you what, you wait here and I'll... And I'll, <clears throat> and I'll uh... I'll, I'll, is I'll he give giving some... birth or something? <laughs> the hell is going on? <laughs> oh. Oh, you. Yeah. Looks like he threw up some sort of card. Well, that wasn't pleasant. I'm gonna take a sec. The hell was that? Um... Okay, then. Seems like you and Gordon have similar reactions. Not really. Gordon pretty much laughed in the face of delusion. I'm questioning why the hell a talking sock puppet has a dissolvable stomach. Uh, I'm questioning why the hell there's a talking sock puppet to begin with. That was... special. Gordon is probably getting paid $20 an hour to deal with Muppet mutants. I would just quit on the spot. It's probably like FNAF logic again. What on earth? Is this... Glue? Either that or Bonnie was looking at the hub for too long. You could say this puts us in a sticky situation. Why, because Grimace blasted his nut on the elevator? No, it was a... Uh... Wait, excuse me? Where are our legs? I guess Gordon's just a jumping jelly bean. That's common in smaller games. Are these some of the foes that we'll be dealing with? Norman. Looks like something could be placed here. Like a mask or something? Speaking of masks... Donald, can I ask why you put on an orange face? What a time to ask. Have you really run out of insults to hurl at me? Rich coming from you. Wait, E. Oh, why does she look like Squidward's house? 
Okay, that one was pretty funny. I wasn't even trying to be funny, though. She's got the looks of a Moai statue. We're getting off topic here. Is it like some aristocratic makeup brand that I've never heard of? Or spray paint? Maybe some weird brand of sunscreen. Why not all three? I'll dismiss those insults once I figure out where the hell to go. Everything is locked right now. Have you checked the elevator again? I did so the first time. It wouldn't open up. We can still go outside. Maybe that's the best move. Could be another area that got unlocked after coming in here. That was going to be my next suggestion. It looks like I'm left with no other choice. Let me take one last look at these statues. Is this a Soviet soldier? Huh. Who the hell? Hey, who's that? Looks like we found out what we need to do. Something that I forgot to mention is that the most I know about this game is the demo I played. Aside from that, I'm going in pretty much blind. Oh, oh great. We don't have Joe's lovable bosom to rely on. So, is this like a warehouse facility that we'll be roaming around? Like I said, Don, I'm going in pretty much at the same level you guys are. Your guess is just as good as mine. Well, that key card seemed to work. Guess it's time that we truly dive into the game. Hmm. I don't know what I was expecting, but this wasn't it. It reminds me of a crack house. I was more thinking that it gave off the atmosphere of a dimly lit parking garage, but I, I guess you could say that too. How dimly lit can it be? It's like Friday Night Lights. What's this? The City Tribune, Saturday, November 9th, 1968. This studio is going to reek if it has mildew in it. This week saw the premiere of a new series on the City Network aimed at preschool-aged children, my friendly neighborhood. The show centers on the titular friendly neighborhood and its resident puppets who, with the help of adults like Stevie, Richie Bromine, teach viewers about a variety of subjects, including numbers, letters, and how to be a friendly neighbor. The show's catch-all term for age-old lessons about caring and sharing. So this is just the great value edition of Sesame Street. Uh, something interesting to note is that it hinted that Ricky used to be the main character of the show. Real quick, Joe, is this game something where I have to search the rooms top to bottom? The demo was pretty much like that. I would recommend you do the same. Got it. Looks like the Easter scavenger hunt came early this year. The health at the bottom slightly concerns me, but I'm not going to obsess with it for now. Yeah, I at least know how that works in the game. As long as you know the basics, that... Gordon, are you stupid? Why would you ever call out like that? What's exactly going on? Sometimes I get some lines to recite too. Let me show you. What the actual hell am I looking at? This reminds me from that thing in dead space. The what now? Never mind. Well, I'm just going to avoid a catastrophe and slowly sneak around, and he'll never notice. How does his back bend like that? I'm not here to ask questions. I'm here to fix an antenna. Fair enough. Another one? What the heck is going on here? I will say that Gordon is quite calm considering the situation that he's in. I'm used to the, oh, we got to jump down? No getting out of this one, it seems. What happened to him? He's sitting on his nutsack in the twerking formation. What's this, a, a token? That's probably going to have some use to it. That's what I'm thinking. What the hell is she talking about? You have to think we're not playing with demented Muppets for no reason. I think it was something about dismembering people. And now we have no other option but to press forward and fight that thing. What, are we going to take it to Pound Town? Wait, peer around the corner. Okay, but why? That, that's a stoplight. I'm thinking that we can go when it's green, but she'll turn around when it's red. Good observation, Barack. I was thinking the same thing. All right, is that when I go? Yeah. Yeah, go now. Oh, gross. She has a hunchback. Did she spot us? I don't think. What the hell is wrong with you? I feel like we knew what we were getting ourselves into with this one. Kids' personalities and drug addicts can just be alternated if you really think about it. That's not something I really want to think about. She's not even looking at a mirror. She's just straight talking to herself. These Muppets must be meth heads. I'd prefer being around meth heads more than whatever that was. No, you don't. Whatever the case may be, we might as well get going. There's probably more of this up ahead anyways. I wish you weren't right. Oh, by the way, you never answered why you put on that utter amalgamation of tie-dye and food coloring. What do you mean? He's asking about your orange face again, Donald. Are we still on that? Okay, I know that sounded really accusatory, but is, uh, the motive was for genuine curiosity. Is it like some fancy makeup brand that I've never heard of? Wait, can I pick up the vase too? 
cool I can. Anyways, what were you saying? Face, orange, funny looking. My beautiful complexion isn't the brainchild for some L'Oreal experiment. This bronze foundation is the secret trap card for first impressions. Is that bottle a healing potion? That's my guess, which is good. I'm curious about the logic to this little stunt you've created. That's too much to read. Anyways, gather around the campfire and I'll spill the beans. Do tell on this one. Let me begin by asking you simpletons this. Have you ever heard of color theory? Yeah, who hasn't? Wait, that door open. Get on with it already. Well, maybe if this game didn't have a lot going on, I could. We haven't even done anything. I can inspect the toilet. There's tape in the toilet. Tape? Yeah, that was tape, right? Looks like tape to me. Yeah, it is tape. Interesting. I wonder what we could be using that for in this theme park of a studio. My only guess is that we can get kinky with one of the Muppets. Why of all things is that your only guess? Uh, it's not even worth questioning. Um, what? Are you seeing this, Joe? This thing is doing a single person wave. Really has his hands in the air like he just don't care. Are you sure we're not... Something about his voice doesn't sit right with me. Sounds like Herbert from Family Guy is choking on a cough drop. Whoever voiced that thing must have a talent of pissing people off. Two peas in a pod, eh, Don? And just like that, I want to sock your dentures to the roof of your mouth. Probably the only bit of mouth action you've gotten in a while. Obama, don't do this to yourself. You're practically married to Oprah Winfrey. There's no point in really even coming at my throat. We're going to need that wrench. Can we club Donald over the head with it? Give him a bump the size of a kangaroo pouch? Actually, we can use this to fight. All I need is a baby soft spot to ash a cigar in, and it's like I'm living in the 60s again. We should test out our new toy on this thing upstairs. Little did you know, Joe, that was already my plan. Putrid minds think alike. On guard, you cuck-sucking teddy bear. Oh my gosh! Damn, he just tossed you like a rag doll. Take this, and this, and this! Looks like you're struggling. Is this thing pumping pounds of steroids? He's not going down! As soon as you... Why did he tumble down the stairs like that? <laughs> he rolled like a bowling ball. And there's the tape. I just found my new favorite thing ever. You're really having fun, aren't you? The smile on his face should tell you that. Well, it can't be all fun in games. We got a job here to do. The overall goal is to change this damn antenna. Oh boy, another one. You got more fight in that wrench, Don. I want to check in here first before I really do anything. Heal and save. Is this a checkpoint place? That is great. If this is going to be a long game, we're going to need one. That desk is a storage system, too. It'll allow you to manage items efficiently without needing to discard them. So I'm noticing that. The problem is that we have to memorize all of this. What does that mean? Like the map layout? Remember, we do have our own map. I don't know if it's properly marked, but it should be easy to get back to. I'm liking the jazz music. And just like that, we're fully patched up. Notice how it says on that ticket that we just used a token. That was the token that you picked up from earlier. It's important to know that because we, we only have limited saves and health boosts. Well, that's good to note. I'm ready to get back out there and start letting this thing fly. Are you enjoying the fact that you can beat children's toys to a bloody pulp in this game? What tipped you off? The Muppet that you left in a coma on the stairs. Come here, you overgrown sharpened pencil. Let me show you how it's done. <laughs> he looks like one of those inflatable balloons at car dealerships. Like in the wind. He's atoning for his mis- How the hell did he even grab me? I was beating his skull into the ground. Watch out for your health, Don. We don't want you to die just yet. Yeah, at least save the game first before you get yanked down to the fiery depths of hell. Am I fighting Hulk? Why is he so strong? Well, even Hulk has a weakness, it seems. It really poops on my parade that I, I not only have to use a healing potion, but I don't have any more duct tape. I can't come back to the punching bag and let a few smacks out onto his pretty little face. What? And you said, I'm the creeper. It's a phrase, Joe. Calm down. What the hell is John Legend doing in this game? Something tells me that you're not the biggest fan of John Legend. From what I've seen in the press, the feeling's mutual. And we jump straight into the flabby folds of a cutscene. Are we going to worship the John Legend shrine? Oh, that's a gun. Now we're talking. There you are. And so is he. Now Why are you back? Off again. I've got some snackaroos waiting back in the lobby. Hey, what's going on here? Your puppet friends are attacking me. Oh, are they? How embarrassing. By the way, what's your name? Can I strangle him already? What? Not yet. Your name, your moniker, your handle, your nom de plume. It's Gordon. Gordon? What a beautiful name. I could say it all day. 
Gordon. I see why you Gordon. want to punch this thing, Don. Gordon. Is this a gun? Strangle, but close enough. Oh my, that's where I left that. You're not taking this away, you splooge sock. Cool, we can keep it. Fine. If you're gonna go gallivanting all over the place, then at least watch out for Pearl. Pearl? You know, the enormous bird that crushes people. What? Don't get on her bad side is all I... <laughs> what was that? And he just slithers away. Uh, okay. what now? Grab this. the mags because we're loading up for a shootout. Give them hell, Donald. They sure ain't getting to heaven. Let's do this. Well, this is a bit anticlimactic. I was thinking a wave of them. This isn't even a puddle. How do you like the gun, Donald? It handles like a Nerf gun. Why the hell does it not do any damage? Seemed like it was working for you. Learn your alphabet, huh? So is this like a typewriter gun or something? We're about to sign their autopsy with this thing? I think the explanation is right here, actually. I finally got it working. Um, it's a real beaut. Um, I think I'll call it the stenographer. Uh, because it shoots letters out of an index, shouldn't be dangerous at all, but um, it'll really give someone a clunk if they get hit in the head. Should be useful um, for security, special effects, fun, etc. Hank. Well, isn't that nice? Hank left us a little parting gift. I want to highlight the fact that it recommended aiming for the head. It should be obvious, but hitting someone in the head will do more damage. Well, I'm sure John Legend will thank us for leaving his room a bloody mess with two corpses on the staircase. What do we have to do now? It feels like we pretty much did everything. Well, if you remember, there was a bullseye back where we originally got the wrench. Now that we have a gun, I bet we can shoot it and it'll trigger something. What's this shape all about? You know, I'm highly impressed you managed to remember all of that. I suppose it comes with the territory. Well, let me ask this. Do you remember what you had for breakfast this morning, Joe? Not a damn thing. I could have eaten eggs, Benedict, or a leather boot. Hell of a selective memory if I've ever seen one. I could give you a 10-page synopsis on the Slenderman series. My parents' names? Yeah, forget about it. People actually want to re-vote for you is the craziest part about all that. So what are we doing again? You need to use the new typewriter gun and shoot the bullseye that's in front of you. Did I do it? I think you did. I don't know what it did, though. Oh, wait, it unlocked this thing. A blue circle key? Uh, I think I know what that's for. Donald, head to the hallway where we originally found Norman. Sounds like a plan. Just give me one second here. All right, I'm ready. You have serious issues, Donald. Blue circled key for blue circled doors. That makes sense. I'm just happy we're unlocking a new area. Whoa! This must be one of the old sets. The studio is huge. Buddhist temples be damned. Quite the room we got ahead of us. Looks like there's a whole town stored up in these buildings. That's probably why it's called My Friendly Neighborhood. And they just had a whole parade here every single episode. I'm surprised the whole set just didn't collapse. These puppets seem life-size, so these buildings most likely have real structural support. It sounds like a psych ward in here. Not that I'm saying we don't belong, but still. What the hell do I even do here? Like, where am I supposed to go where I won't get attacked by a vicious mob? I think I saw a staircase going up one of the buildings. You could try to see if that'll lead you anywhere. I see it. I'm just trying to be cautious. I'm, I don't want any of these little creatures from the crypt to crawl behind me and snap my neck. So is now a good time to continue explaining about your orange face? Are you really still on this? It's the curiosity, Donald. It's just eating at me. Well, as you mentioned, Obama, colors are associated with symbolism that we form in our minds. Now, can we take a guess at what orange is associated with? Stupidity? No. Wealth? Nope. Stupidity? You already said that. Excitement? Close, Obama. My money is still on stupidity. I'm really not trying to add elder abuse to my charge list, but it is tempting right now. Don, you might as well tell us. I'm tired of guessing. Well, hold on to that thought. I'm figuring out how I'm going to rip this thing's head off. It's always easy to use the gun, but I would conserve as much ammo as possible. Yeah, that's the plan. I might just have to beat this thing off the woodside. Why is he laughing like the headless horseman? I have no idea, but he can take a punch like a headless horseman. I feel like I'm swinging home runs and he's just eating this for breakfast. Damn, I was not expecting him to be that strong. I guess this neighborhood isn't monitored by police if they're this methed out. That's quite a bird. What the hell is he talking about? Damn! Oh, what the hell? I thought the dodo went extinct, but that is one giant bird. A single drumstick off that thing would solve world hunger. My guess is that we probably want to avoid that thing. Well, back to what I was saying, the color orange is associated with optimism. 
confidence, you may say. I pretty much said that. Stupidity works too. I can still hear that infernal bird just prowling about. That's okay, I just happen to be in the mood for some chicken. I hate to burst your bubble, Don, but I don't think that bird is a chicken. Not only that, didn't Ricky say that Pearl crushes people? Well, she's no match for a George Foreman. I also got more duct tape in this letter block, whatever this goes to. Most likely we have some more puzzle solving ahead. Great, let me guess. Do I shove this wrench up my ass and use it like a pogo stick? Man, I knew the set was massive, but it is just like a miniature city inside here. Barack, it is nothing short of a miracle how you just seemingly ignored whatever the hell Don just spewed out. Yeah, my ears have like a built-in filter for that sort of garbage. I guess I was blessed at birth. Well, listen to this. The color orange is set to make people think of confident and agreeable thoughts. Thus, when people see me, I want them to be able to perceive a confident and agreeable man. It's simple appeal in the world of business. There's a reason why I'm a billionaire. Whatever you say. Also, I just kind of started paying attention to what's happening right now. This actually looks like a normal day in Manhattan. Crackheads busting down in the middle of the street and some damn rodents wandering around them. Hey, Don. What is it, Obama? I just looked up the psychology behind orange, and while it does say those things, it also says it tends to rain the feeling of pride and arrogance. Okay, that makes way more sense. Whatever, I'll just collect this mag and who the hell is having a mental breakdown? We're not in grade school, shut the hell up. I don't think they listened. And we got another letter here. Again, I have no idea what this is for. Maybe we're just collecting the title to our death certificate. Might as well finalize it with these temperamental toys. Uh, is he even doing anything? It looks like that they're trying to run, but maybe the game's just bugged. Are they moonwalking, or are they trying to hit the gritty? I'm being completely honest, I can't tell. Right, and with that, I think it's time to take my leave from the area. I'm really not trying to fight. Are you serious? No handle? Damn, they completely pulled a fast one on you. You're telling me. Now I have to empty the entire staple rack on this little miscreant. Bloody hell, it didn't even do anything. I'm pissed. Yeah, there must have been an invisible barrier or something on the other side of that window. Whatever the case is, the game is really not liking you at the moment. They're even blocking my knobs from getting anywhere past this gate. I don't know what's back there, but I'll need to. Can you shut the hell up? It's like you have two settings, loud and extra loud. Wait, Don, I think that's a lever. Yeah, I just saw it. And just like that, open sesame. So why do we need to get that open? Really don't know. My best guess is that there might be a letter that's behind the counter. I forgot that we still haven't explored this place over here. There's a lot to look through, it seems. A pizzeria? Hmm, interesting. Is this what obesity looks like on a clock? This seems like a whole other ordeal on its own. I have a hunch that the rest of this area will be solely dedicated with trying to find the letters. I have a hunch that my entire foot is lodging itself in the firm mouth of Ricky, the gaping hole of a sock. Oh yeah, this opened up. Well, we did not get a letter, but we got a key. I think that'll prove to be more handy anyways. That's near the top of the set, if I remember correctly. It'll be tempting not to jump off. Couldn't be worse than getting plowed by Big Bird over there. No, you just can't do that, Don. Last time I checked, we lived in America. This has got to be the happiest person that listens to Drake. My guess was going to be Yeet, but I suppose Drake works too. Gordon, this damn thing is moving. Cut its head off or something. Make sure it's dead. We don't want another poppy playtime incident. If Chuckle Nuts happens to wake up, I'm plowing him into the wall and switching to Resident Evil. I think we're good. Just take the letter and get out of here. Hold on, let me just take some extra precautionary measures. Ah! That scare you a bit, Don? Die! 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 I think that just about answers our questions. All this use of food really has me hungry, but before we continue with the small talk, gentlemen, I do have a really important question to ask. Oh, is everything good, Joe? Yeah, everything is fine. We're just here to ask the age-old question. And that is? Does pineapple belong on pizza? <laughs> now, off the bat, I just want to say that I absolutely think it should be on pizza. That honestly might be the worst thing I've ever heard you say. I presume you think otherwise, Barack. Absolutely. Pineapple on pizza is just wrong. I'm from Hawaii. Um, if you go around to any native resident there and say that, they would probably want to hurl you into a volcano. I have no idea where to look for these other letters. Aside from that, the problem there would be considering eating pineapple in the first place. 
What does that mean? I say this without understatement. Pineapple might possibly be the worst food as we know it. What? How? I wouldn't go as far as to say that. I just don't believe it should be on pizza. Listen to me, the both of you understand that pineapple is quite possibly the fruit of Satan himself. It tastes terrible. It looks like a porcupine birthed it, and it can be used as a weapon. I have a serious fear of getting killed by someone hucking one at me. The fear of dying to one is a more rational take than whatever you said about pineapple tasting terrible. Did you eat it from behind a Walmart dumpster? It's been quite some time, but I remember some friends of mine eating some in a can. When I gave it another try, I was revolted. There's your problem, you absolute imbecile. When have you ever tasted anything good from a can? Listen, I don't know about you, but Chef Boyardee can hit the spot. I refuse to believe this is a real conversation happening before my very eyes. I have to agree with him somewhat, Joe. Chef Boyardee can hit the spot sometimes. What? You too? The tomato sauce tastes like period blood. What Chef Boyardee are you having? The one that the Jamaican guy sells in the corner of Costco. What? Joe, those cans are sold in national stores. I doubt someone was selling Chef Boyardee in the back of a Costco. Oh. Yeah, you might want to get yourself checked out. Oh, is this where the letters go? Seems like it. And we almost have the whole damn alphabet at our disposal. Now that I'm looking at it, we might have to guess what the word is on this one. What do you mean? Since we have an array of letters, they'll most likely be used to spell out a certain phrase. Oh, well, here's the last letter. It only took the golden years of my life to find this little thing. I'm embarrassed with how long this is taking. It doesn't help that Donald went back to the parking lot on two separate occasions. Shut the hell up. Stop trying to steer the vehicle when you're sitting in the back seat. Why the hell am I struggling with this? It's neighbor. The damn name of the game. What did you just get? I have no idea. Let me get into a safe space so I don't get ambushed by Kermit or something. A letter. I believe there was a mailbox outside of that one building. Good eye, Barack. That's most likely where it has to go. It's finally done. My back hurts like hell right now. A crank? This unlocks a different part of the studio. There's more? These games typically have no end in sight, Don. I thought you knew this. I'm saving and I'm giving it to you, Obama. If I see any more of that bird, I'm gonna be sick. Don't get too turned on. So we have a crank now, but we've pretty much explored every nook and cranny this place has to offer. Do you have any ideas where I can take this, Don? Remember that one place outside with all the neon lights, as if Harrison Ford had a surrogate and named it the 80s? The one place we couldn't enter, Brock, outside near our utility van. Oh, th that place, yeah. I remember now, Donald thought we teleported to Japan. I just don't like having a seizure looking at neon lights, nothing wrong with preserving my health. Well, and don't make a damn fast food joke. How much of a joke can I make when you have a red lobster biscuit in your hand? Oh, what, now you print your meat sack all over red lobster now? Their biscuits are the best, the very best. How many did you order? Okay, now you can make a joke. Well, you think they could make it a bit less obvious. Who the hell set this up anyways? Oscar the Grouch? This is flooded with Sesame Street branding. Secret entrance, huh? We'll just see about that. There we go. That's not good. Maybe you shouldn't have stood over the damn cover, Gordon. At least we're alive. Gordon is awfully calm about this entire thing. Oh, is this a sewer? Someone call the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles because I'm about to shred this cum sock alive. Shut up, Don. We have another cutscene. Oh, it's you. Oh, oh, my. You seem to be stranded in the basement. How do I get out of here, Ricky? Oh, having a clue. Never come down here myself. Uh, hey, what's got your overalls in a knot? Interesting. I'm trying to get to the roof. The roof? What's so interesting about the roof? I have to fix the antenna, Threadhead. Shut up, Don. Extremely musty. Unrelated. How do you feel about blood force head trauma? Oh, I remember this part. Well, Ray, of course. Who the hell is Ray? He's explaining that. Just shut the hell up. But he's a little obsessed with uh, organic maintenance. Tends to pop out of pipes and clobber people with his wrench. Great. All of you puppets crazy? Well, They're sentient puppets. You think they have a moral compass? The shutdown. That's why they moved him down here. Only way out is by elevator, and he can't figure out how to use the buttons. Elevator. Got it. Oh, silly me. I forgot about the elevators. 
Really, Gordon, I wouldn't bother. The How else would we get out? Rusted. I don't think they even run anymore. I'll take my chances. Wow, you're so courageous and stuff. Look, I gotta go wash my hair. Can we kill this thing yet? Let me swing the wrench like a baboon. Well, boy, howdy, it didn't do anything. We got some magazines, though. That's always good. So let's check out this place really quick. Let me see if there's anything I can rummage through. Possibly get some more supplies. You'll do that by destroying a cardboard cutout? I would have done it just because I hate that Squidward-looking thing. I think this is another newspaper. About a war this time. Nothing screams the 70s more than pointless wars. After 20 years of fighting, the city government has finally declared a complete withdrawal of troops from the northern continent. This article dates back to 1972. I wonder if this is referencing the Vietnam War. What city government is having a war for 20 years? What, the war on stolen bicycles? Called the War of Horrors, the conflict, which mainly involved guerrilla confrontations in the rainforest, resulted in almost 100,000 casualties. Man, those bicycles can sure put up a fight. Hardy har har, real side splitter. Unlike previous homecomings, veterans returning to the city's main docks were booed and hissed, reflecting the negative attitude of many adults towards those who volunteered to serve in the war, hoping to protect their home, but in the eyes of the public, helping to perpetrate those horrors. Lousy, do-nothing Democrats. Our men go and fight for our country, and this is what you treat them with? Next time we get invaded, I'm pushing them out to fight. This is a fake scenario, Don. The Northern War has also been called the first war fought in the living room due to the televised newsreels that kept civilians at home up to date with events overseas. Sounds like the spitting image of Vietnam. If this is overseas, why the hell does the city government have any say? Don, we are getting attacked by the entire Muppet Show. Stop pretending that we need to have a congruent reality. Well, there's that. I'm still lost on how the hell this place was approved for operations if we had a New York subway system down here. They'll most likely reveal the story bit by bit. I don't like this darkness. Beat it with your wrench. Well, that was effective. You scared that dark shadow to hell and back, though. I'm just trying to make sure that I don't miss anything. And uh, ammo is important, considering how much the puppets can just tank it. By the way, after this segment that we're playing now, I have zero clue what's going to happen. Think of it as a teaser to the game versus the actual thing. All of this from here on out is complete blindness. Great, and they're down here too. They'll be everywhere from here on out. Joe, you need to find games that don't deal with kids' toys. If I play another damn game with a stuffed animal chasing us, I might just sue Mattel for existing. Funny enough, I was going to suggest that you guys choose the next game after this. I'm all game. I have just the thing too. It'll scare Joe stiff as a dead bug. Realistically, I've probably already played it. Did you actually do anything as the VP? Yeah, I played horror games. Wait, is that a shotgun? Hell yeah, it is. Finally, we're talking my kind of lingo. The novelist is what it's called. That's what the shells were from earlier. They were alluding to another weapon. Joe, I cannot tell you how excited I am to plow through these puppets like a cornfield. Huh, another letter. I was hanging around the office last night to keep the pipes from freezing, so I had the time to work out the kinks on my latest project. The output is pretty flashy, but it uses up a lot of letters, so I'll need to conserve ammo. Hank. Hank is great. Hank was in the know. He knew about the issues coming around, very well knew, and he set us up for a victory lap. He knew the world's best security guard was going to get assaulted by Bear in the big blue house. I'm just happy we have some serious firepower to our name now. And that door is locked. Well, as Gordon says, uh, let's get writing. Thankfully, these puppets aren't as smart as FNAF characters. Yeah, but there's multiple... Is she throwing up some damn gang signs? I'm just wondering what her chiropractor bill looks like. Of course, the door's locked. Don't cause a scene. The wrench is only so good, and we're trying to conserve ammo. I ticked her off anyways. Did the other guy get triggered? No. Ah! They run faster than you think they can. Now I'm just shotgunning her out of spite. Cool, they're one shots too. Yeah, but we have no ammo for it. I forgot we had inventory. Let me see if we have enough space. Oh, we have duct tape. Are you also doing this out of spite? Yep. Uh, I just got my anus breached by a nose the size of Stonehenge. Life really can humble you in the worst ways. This is a fat rat I'm looking at here. How big is this place? There is no way in bloody hell that we have another giant cornucopia to explore. I'm not sure if we needed another poppy playtime experience. I think I sound like a broken record asking this again, 
but why is there such a theme with public spaces and underground labyrinths? And I keep telling you that it's such a specific question that I have zero real knowledge about it, especially since the game just came out. This is the only thing you're good at. What else are you going to do? Properly run the country? It's not. Don't answer that because you... Uh, that has nothing to do with us. Let's just get going. That took me by surprise. I don't remember that being in the demo. So is there anything that we should expect from this game? Possibly any insider knowledge you have? You have to know something of value. Ah! Oh, I'm making sure this thing is not getting up. Well, that's all about I can do. So, no ifs, ands, or buts. We have to enter that facility. That's my... I knew this wasn't just a damn shadow. Just spam click right on the door. <sighs> okay, we're good. So, to help answer your bickering from earlier, Don, what I can say is that this game seems more realistic. It might be in part with the maps, but when you apply the overall size of the area to actual floor plans, you can see how the comparison is more realistic compared to Poppy Playtime. All right, also, we're just going right in? I don't see any heel stations back anywhere else. Also, if I take another hit, I'm royally screwed. And of course, we only have more of them to deal with. I wanted to conserve ammo, but I'm not taking any chances right now. Remember, the typewriter magazines are very common to find, so don't be too afraid to start using some. Especially in situations like this, prioritize health over ammo. If we're talking about what else this game nails, I like how it's horror mixed with run and gun. Rarely, if ever, do we have the chance to fight back. For once, I agree with you, Obama. Nothing has been more satisfying than ass blasting these phony puppets down a flight of stairs. What do we have here? Looks like some shapes or something. Uh, looks like it needs power. How do we give it power, Gordon? Going back to the game, it doesn't go overboard with that run and gun effect. You have plenty of ammo, but you still have to use it sparingly and wisely. We might as well just suck the devs off at this point. This is a safe point. Hell yeah, Don, get to sucking. I didn't mean that literally. Remember, no take backs. Now this is what I wanted, a nice change of pace after getting smacked around by poop nose. Consider seeing asthma treatment. You should get more exercise. Great, we're running around with someone the size of a triceratops. What's the plan now? I'm taking these shells for our inventory. And while we're here, I might as well organize it a bit. I wanna throw some theories around. My question is, how did this operation all start? Our character is not really considering how the antenna was set to hijack the other TV stations. I think our character has schizophrenia because he's just treating these things like an average day in Manhattan. Some manifestly mannequins are acquiring the sense of free will and motion causing irreversible consequences. Meanwhile, Gordon takes another hit from the bong and says, stupid puppets. Gordon's a mechanic for a reason. I'm also liking this music. It makes me want to stay in here longer. So what's your theory, Obama? You think Gordon's wreaking havoc on an inside job? I wouldn't necessarily say that, um, but power, especially to this grand of a scale, doesn't just come on under normal circumstances. That throws into question if we are under normal circumstances. I think realism jumped off the bridge when we walked into the realm of alive puppets. It's like we really can't get over the hump of supernatural objects here. I mean, we have a gun that shoots out the alphabet. It's not like we're side by side with the real world. Of course, they're back up. Yeah, you guys just keep doing the wave. You certainly aren't crazy. So what's the objective now? Finding how to turn that machine on? Right. And I believe these are the, the only doors we haven't been through. Um, most likely, we'll have to do some puzzle to throw on a, a power switch or something. I didn't know Johnny Sins was down here doing... Con Who's there? Johnny Sins, that's who. I seriously don't know what to expect going into this, but... Oh, what the hell? Is that a damn anaconda? He kind of reminds me of Gordon, the way he looks so out of shape. So is this the Ray guy that the sock was referring to? I didn't know he'd be a damn swamp monster. You think he'd be in a Shrek movie? Well, I really don't know what to do in this situation. Try to find something you can turn on the lights with. I think I just found that now. Damn! Gordon, you outright homunculus. You saw the damn figure before you turned on the lights. How many damn rats are in this place? And why are they all stuffed puppets? It's annoying how we can't curb stomp them. Uh, I think this is to that machine over there. We need uh, some sort of brick and then we pop it into the socket. 
I think that slab was what that oaf was hammering on. Oh. Boy, do I have just a thing for you. <laughs> oh, I remember this. Obama, shoot the puppet when you get out there. Got it. I'll light him up like a firework festival. And you talk about excessive patriotism from me. Yeah, he's blocking us from getting through. Whoa! What the hell? What the hell just happened? Joe, you pile of rotting flesh. Why the hell would you have me do that? Yeah, sleepy Joe, you crusty old bum. What the hell? Now we have Florida residents chasing us. Relax, you two. I just wanted to show you Stay a cool thing they added. Besides, we're in a healthy status. The right corner! Now. Run, Obama. Stop looking back. They're right there. I have to look back to shoot them, you ingot. See, what did I tell you? You're whittling them down just fine. Joe, I, I, I don't know what itsy bitsy spider crawled up your ass today, but if you do that again, I'm making like Gordon and bashing you with a wrench. Nice rubber duck they put in there. Yeah, what the hell is that doing in there? Can't shoot it. Anyways, that was a dick thing to do, Joe. Oh, come on. It wasn't even that bad. My point was for you to realize that we'll gain all that ammo back in the long run. Besides, I think it's pretty cool with what happened. Yeah, Norman made like Naruto and pulled a shadow clone jutsu. Really breathtaking addition we've discovered. What the, the hell was that? So, well, what do we do now? Go back to that supercomputer and plug this bad boy in? Wait, do these carnival toys get back up? Oh, they just disappear. Well, Gordon, you're taking this all very well. I think Gordon took more than an espresso shot back in the van. I don't know how many times I've said that now, but I really need to emphasize my point. Yeah, I sincerely doubt Gordon is the secret mastermind behind all of this, if there is one, really. To be honest, it's really too early to tell. There might be foreshadowing in the game that we've missed, uh, possibly some visual cues, but that's not really going to be apparent up until now. Well, we got this thing plugged in and booting up. So what does this do again? Oh, there's shapes on the bottom. Do we have to be like a baby and fit the square in the square hole or something? No, these are buttons. I'm just trying to figure out how, how the hell you press them. With the damn mouse, how else do you think? There it goes. So what did that do? It didn't look like it did anything. To all personnel, due to the construction of the new stages, this blast door has been locked using a punch card combination. Please insert the appropriate punch cards into the three terminals to open the door. In the event that you have lost your punch cards, this machine can be used to print replacements. I'm not gonna lie, all of that just went in one ear and out the other. Not surprised, Don, not surprised. It means that you have to punch in these shapes to make a combination and put them in the stands behind us. Okay, and I found the lever, so that's what we have to pull to print the combination. It's starting to make sense now. That's right, you got an understanding of it. So I take the punch card and then put it in one of these machines, right? Why do they have clocks on them? Because it's time to get out of here, that's why. Yeah, I'm just gonna let you sit in silence after that one. Really be alone with your thoughts. It wasn't as graphic as his jokes can usually get. Just a tad bit corny. Uh, did that do anything? Everything just reset. Wait, look at the papers. Oh, these are numbers, aren't they? I still don't know what that has to do with shapes. I'll point you back in the right direction, Barack. We left a map back in the safe room. You should go back and pick it up. Oh, how the hell did I miss this? Uh, it was off to the side, so your peripherals probably didn't think twice. Are we exploring Narnia? How the hell is this actually the size of the New York subway system? Apparently there's an east basement here as well. If only I could find a way to get over to the other map. There we go. Now check that one paper near the wall, Barack. Oh, a cheat sheet. So it does correlate directly to numbers. We already established that, Don. So square is plus two, triangle is minus one, and circle is plus six. Uh, I feel like I'm back in elementary school again. I bet Ricky set this all up to confuse us. Let's be real. That cum sock is probably conspiring against us as we speak. All right, I, I believe this panel is three. So we just add these up. And that adds up to three. Yeah, something like that. I'm just glad you're doing this, Barack. Numbers aren't my thing. Neither are letters, apparently. I will say, Ricky seemed pretty enthusiastic that everything was back up and running. That just clicked. Does that mean we did it? Either that or we've set off a time bomb that's going to blow this place up, which wouldn't be half bad either. No, you got it. Now you just have to do that two more times. Got it. Anyways, Ricky has also been trying to stop us from going to do our job. It's also important to note that the original name of the show was Ricky and Friends. 
maybe a hidden jealousy that could pose as a possible motive, but that's assuming he's the one behind all of this. If I was a producer's old spank rag that he made into a kid's mascot, I'd be out for blood as well. All right, I, I think this adds up to 10. If not, then I have no idea how I ran a country for eight years. It added up to 10, and I still don't know how you ran a country for eight years. Wait, so is this 10 as well? It does say X, but take a closer look at the clock. Oh, the seven circled. Well, that makes sense. Funny enough, you're right though, Joe, and uh, not only is it uh, too early, way too early, there's too many characters to piece together any continuity at the time being. Maybe it's a FNAF scenario and all these puppets are the souls of old workers. We got that open though. They could also just be pointless puppets. Remember, there isn't one of each. We ran into uh, 15 Normans practically. What the hell is this tunnel? Wow. Wonder how deep this goes. This reminds me of the spider holes that Mommy Longlegs burrowed. This must be the connection between the east and west basement. All I know is that these puppets better cool their jets. Otherwise, this kid's show will turn rated R really quick. I should have expected as much from you. Oh, this will be fun. I'm just going to try to sneak around and get to uh, wherever I need to go. After all, these puppets are mini Mike Tysons. Joe, I think you should know what I'm about to ask now. Oh boy, let me prepare first. So correct me if I'm wrong, but these things are human height, right? Yeah, you're right. And, and puppet stuffing isn't that heavy, right? Well, it depends on the type of filling, but for argument's sake, we can say it isn't heavy. It concerns me that you're asking him all this after just making an innuendo. Also, I'm not liking these narrow hallways at all. Nowhere really to run. So with all of that, being established, do you think I could put one of these in a hemlock or something, just outright clean their clocks? Why do you keep putting yourself in scenarios where you're fighting inanimate objects? You had me do that poll about fighting Ricky the other day, and now here you are again. Something tells me it stems from validation. Just answer the damn question. Unlike the other foes we've squared off with, these certain toys aren't really measurable in strength. Even with pillow stuffing coursing through their veins, they're strong enough to throw Gordon down to the ground like a bag of hammers. Goodness gracious, we are actually in poppy playtime again, aren't we? Who is funding these facilities? Tony Stark? Either that or one of the X-Men. How about all of the X-Men? Well, to refer to your earlier statement from the sound of it, Gordon's not the most healthy person in the doctor's clinic. Says Donald, the fitness guru, eating another Red Lobster biscuit. What the hell? Watch what you say about Red Lobster. Even the water pipes aren't happy with your smack talk. Realistically, you possibly could take one in a fight, but it's a numbers game when it comes down to it. If they swarm you like a colony of locusts, something tells me you're not getting out of there alive. Especially if they're out for blood. You tell me if I just get in a bathroom stall and just start funneling them in, I can't power kick at least a few dozen? Don, there's a Family Guy episode where they literally ask this question. I was just thinking about that, except replace the puppets with fourth graders. This seems easier because puppets don't hold any weight. A strong gust would probably take them to the land of Oz. You shot 15 metal bricks at one, and it didn't even phase them. You have better odds of fishing a diamond from a Cracker Jack box. Where the hell did you hear that saying from? All right, how about all three of us? Like a Left 4 Dead 2 sort of fight? You still have not given us specific battlefronts. With all that babbling, at least we have another safe room. I don't really need to save what's this paper. Great, more bedtime stories. As the mother of a four-year-old who is devoted to my friendly neighborhood, I am frightened by the tone of the morals on that show. Just yesterday, one of the characters said, you should always think of others before yourself, even when it's uncomfortable. But what if someone takes advantage of you for doing that? What if doing what's uncomfortable ends up exposing you to hurt and danger? Is it really a good idea to teach children to be so reckless with their own well-being? I can just tell she's a single mother. Is there something wrong with that? Well, she's single for a reason. And I think you know what reason I'm referring to. Yeah, because she wants to be protective of her kid. Really strutting your stuff, Don. I think she's going somewhat too far. Like, think about mailing in the editor-in-chief just because you're overthinking about a kid's show. I suppose. Also, this is the third time I've seen that green triangle. I, is there another key we have to find? That's been the overall theme here. I also think that we're going to go back to multiple areas and open up avenues that we couldn't before. I don't really mind as long as they keep giving us the supplies for ammo. They're still generous with that. Wait, is this the other side of that well area? Yeah, I think it loops around at some point. Oh, looky here. 
I can't clobber her, so I'll just take her out from up here. I think Cheese Block is the most annoying one out of all of them. Like, shut the hell up. Are you going to draw bad blood between you and this puppet now? To be fair, Junebug is the loudest out of all of them. No kidding. Wait, before I go back, there was another area that I could go to. Let me see what's that way first. Good call. You don't want to spread yourself too thin and lose track of everything. I already lost track of everything. We have the seven wonders of the world we have to explore. And then to top it all off, we have these killer Muppets hiding. Is that thing dead? Either that or the game of operation is getting a bit too realistic for my liking. It looks dead to me. Still, I personally wouldn't turn my back to it. You never know. Why is this locked? Damn it, are we in a dead end? Ah! Get out of there. I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. Now, slowly, easy does it. What the hell are you doing? I have to get to the other end of the hall. I didn't get to check it out. Okay, I think we're good. The game would most likely give out a huge cue if he got up. So what the hell is going on over here? Someone keeps taking the breakers that you use to open these doors. So I put them in those lock boxes around the basement. Here's a map of where they are in case you need to get through. Janitor Hank, it's Ray. So what does that even mean? We need to go around to those lock boxes that we came across and find the breakers. I, I remember one back here. Now I just have to get out of here without him getting up. I think you're good, maybe. Looks like we're in the clear. Of course, when we get the triangle key, that's when he'll probably get up. See, I knew it was these lock boxes he was talking about. Now, I just have to find the other three, and it opens those doors. With how big this facility is, I'm left wondering where these lock boxes could be. I'm still wondering what the show has to do with the war that was talked about earlier. I just want to know when the hell this takes place. As I was skimming the footage during our editing, I noticed that the repair note for Gordon said 1993. So the time that this game took place was exactly 30 years ago. So Gordon can't just call the SWAT team to airlift himself out of this place. I doubt Gordon could zip up his fly, let alone zip up a helicopter ladder. So that answers that. But what does this war even mean to the studio? Music. Music. Oh, These voices are certainly something else. If I remember correctly, the real-life Sesame Street was made during the Vietnam War and the Civil Rights Movement. The aim was to teach young children how to navigate the constantly evolving American landscape, even talking to educational experts and child psychologists. It's incredible, very incredible, that you can remember little details from a 50-year-old kid show, but not which shoe to put on what foot. Oh, come on, you cannot tell me you haven't put on your underwear inside out or mixed up your lefts and rights. Something tells me you did both before you got here today. This thing is very verbal. What the hell is happening? This must be what modern day kindergarten teachers act like. You mean younger than the kids they teach? Something like that. I'm not too keen from your underwear comment. Oh, another lockbox. You really want to start a fight you can't stop, Donald? One swing of a chicken wing and you're either going to be knocked out or eating it. Today on Factor Cap, a trial of two testicles. Can you wedgie someone if they wear a diaper? Have you guys ever seen those Waffle House fights online? This is an oddly specific and random question, but I'm familiar. They're hilarious, very funny. Why do you ask? Before I continue, why is there just a boat here? I guess we're driving it now. What the hell? We just have a whole underground sewer passage here? I think it links to the other side of the basement. Listen, every time you two tortoises swing your necks around, I always think it'll lead into some senior citizen smackdown. Joe is senior enough. If I smack him again, he might recoil onto the ground like a jello figure. I already put the smack and smack down. You should know, of all people. Throw us in the ring and the crowd noise would probably KO you. Can I get food before this happens? Imagine if that was an election tiebreaker. A boxing match between the two candidates. So it does look like we're on the other side of the basement. A boxing match would probably be more engaging than the actual election, if I'm being honest. I don't think it would go very far. Half of the candidates have been around before colored television, me included. Skill-based matchmaking, Barry Sanders versus Joe Biden. Which crippled prune will bring home the title of not the saddest old guy? I wouldn't mind officiating that ring. You should reserve a couple hundred doctors in case one of them throws out their spine. I forgot about the foot rash in here. Also, complimentary coffins will be provided. Why am I subject to these experiments? We got another article here. I guess reading time was their favorite time here on The Neighborhood. As the My Friendly Neighborhood franchise grows, it was inevitable for Gertzwald's precocious puppets to make the move to the big screen. 
Fortunately, their first outing is appealing to more than just the younger crowd. Everything from the sumptuous sets to the scintillating score brings the swashbuckling spirit into the theater in a way that both children and adults can appreciate. You're telling me these gross abominations had a whole damn movie? Four out of five stars, too. Seems like this show was relatively popular for the time being. Again, mimicking the success of Sesame Street or even the Muppets. The plot centers around a young lad named Clark, Jerry Love of everyone fame, who sets sail with the puppets in search of treasure. They soon, however, discover that the terrifying Captain Crocodile is in control of the ship, and it's up to Clark and his plucky sea hand friend, Ricky, to... And the article just gets cut off there. So this show was the bee's knees around the time it aired. It seems so. Wait a minute, was that... Yes, it was, another lockbox. So how many more do we have after this, just one? I think so, the problem is finding where that one is located at. Don't worry about it. With us three, we'll take them to the cleaners. You still haven't mentioned the details of fighting these things. Do we need to kill a certain amount? Do we have to survive a certain amount of time? What's the specifics here? Okay, you're taking the fun out of everything now. How, you ask the damn question. You know what? Never mind, just focus on the game. Are you serious? I hope your toilet seat in prison is a guy's lap. Well, there's the last lockbox. That took longer than it should have. We could have avoided Donald's talk about pool noodles if I found this earlier. It was a legitimate question. Don't criticize me. A legitimate question that gave me a legitimate picture in my head that I didn't exactly want. Like you never thought of it before? Just shut up. What am I looking at? Kind of breaker box. I think uh, there were some slips of paper that told us which breakers go to what. Should be in your files. Right here, club, diamond, heart, and then spade. I might sound crazy asking this again, but why are there puzzles just to turn on the damn power? You really have to stop holding these companies to expectations. Spade and heart, and there we go. So is this gonna be the door that'll get us to the elevator? I'm hoping so. Uh, we got ourselves a mannequin problem. And a locked door too, that's not good. Obama? Do we still have the shotgun? And we're pulling it out as we speak. Let's get out of here as soon as possible. I feel like I'm in a smut video. What's this? A cutter, huh? Wait, we can use that for the chain on the doors. Right, just give me a second. Don't you all come to life now. I'm not afraid to let the bullets fly. They probably would have already come to life by now. Hey, I don't want you jinxing things here. Cut the umbilical cord and let's get moving. Already on it. Looks like we're at another boating area. I wonder where this will take us. I think there was another area on the opposite side of the basement that had another dock. I guess it's no big deal that we're traversing the seven seas right now. Gordon must be numb from the highlighter fumes that he snorted in the car to think this is normal. Wait, let me check the map real quick. Okay, I think I know where we are. Let me do some quick reconnaissance before I venture back in. I think this is where Ray was. Looks like I was correct. Why are you moaning? Why does every damn puppet here moan? These puppeteers must have been in some freaky business behind the scenes. Yeah, but stop moaning. I think the more you talk about it, the more he likes it. Is being kink shamed a kink itself? Ask Moni Joni over here. You'd think he's narrating some rag mags. I'll just do us all a big favor and get rid of this pest. Where do we gotta go again? Elevator, this is like the fifth time we've told you. Goodness gracious, is dementia contagious? I'm just glad we can finally take these chains off the handle. Can't tell you how many times I ran away from a puppet just to get body blocked by the door. Wait, we went up only a floor? This must be the elevator Ricky was talking about. You're telling me bubble butt Gordon couldn't climb up that ledge? Listen, the specifics aren't important. Let's just be glad that we're finally out of the basement. Here's the thing. This is where the tutorial ended last time. I have absolutely no idea what lies ahead of us. We could be taking the elevator to Hell's Kitchen for all I know. I wouldn't be surprised if we opened up the elevator to the Stanley Parable at this point. Don, I have some news to tell you. We might actually be in the Stanley Parable. From what I can tell, this looks like a walk of fame almost. I wonder if this was a dedicated hallway to their most successful projects. It's as grand as my hotels. And as pompous as them too. Doors locked, probably the same thing on the other side. Always good to double check before we move forward. Can't pick that up. And yeah, it's locked. Well, time to see what's ahead of the mist. This looks great. It's starting again. Like fun. My guess is that we're somewhat closer to the antenna. Now I really feel like a 1930s detective. Talk about grand entrances. 
Feels like we're walking around the entrance to Atlantis. They're still being generous with their ammo. Uh, I'm not complaining. It's never a bad thing. Just remember that. Didn't expect anything to happen, but no news is good news, too. Looks like this might be the next main area we'll have to explore. What the? Yeah, I'm just going to avoid that for now. Was that a damn bat pig wedging his balls on the wall? I don't know what the hell it was. Ooh, I've got to say, I am liking this jazz music. This whole thing could be like a Rocket League stadium. Locked. Of course it is. Like the ball would come from the hand of the statue or something? No, that's not how Rocket League works. It's already set in the center of the field, and everybody races to it very fast and swift, like dodgeball routine. RLCS Castor Don over here. These lounges really remind me of mafia motives. Maybe I'm overreading things. But I wonder if this business had mob ties. Am I at a damn library? There's so much reading to do. ABCs can be pretty hard. As if you're not talking from experience. Last month marked seven years since the end of the war. So it seems like a good time to reflect on the impact it has had on our lives. Interesting. We get more war lore. For once, I'm actually intrigued to hear this one. I think across the whole city, the war has left us feeling troubled. We were called to service for the sake of righteousness, love for one city, and protecting others. But in the end, we found that those calls were just noble lies, and behind them, the horror of reality thwarted our starry-eyed ideals. We left home as heroes and came home as murderers. The dark deception that the American people finally opened their eyes to. But this tension leads to a question. Why should we care about right and wrong or friendliness, as the children's show puts it? Following such things can have a terrible cost. The only reason would be if there were some overarching purpose, some guiding goodness to our wanderings in the world. But that is exactly what an injustice like the war calls into question. They're linking international tragedy and war crimes to a damn kid show? Who wrote this garbage? Babylon B? The logic in that argument also seems incredibly flawed. Good intentions have started as many wars as selfish intentions have. Conflict cannot be avoided by doing the good thing or the bad thing, but it can be diminished depending on what you do. It also assumes that people only act in a certain way for ulterior motives. Even after being deceived, it's ignorant to question why we should do the right thing. I'm just outright bamboozled on why you link a kid's show to war. Did they think the alphabet was secret propaganda? Desperate times call for desperate measures, or something like that. Didn't know Ted Bundy worked here. The hell is that? The punctuation? We can switch to it. I think it might be a weapon of sorts. Interesting. I don't know how we could use it, though. Maybe it's like another wrench and we could just cause some internal brain damage. What if that backfires? Watch us get caught up in the smoke. True, we already have one brain-dead president. We don't need another. At least you come clean. What the hell is going on in here? You and Gordon have similar sentiments. Man, what the hell is that? He's coming at us pretty fast. Too fast. Time to get the hell out of here. It looked like it was a giant frog or toad. Crazy Frog really got a bit too crazy since he fell off. What the heck was that? You saw, Gordon. It was Crazy Frog. I think that was the gold statue in that one room from earlier. That's probably who made all of this mess, too. I'm starting to realize you know a lot of pop culture references. Who, me or Donald? Both, for that matter. Joe just sits on his couch butt naked and watches horror analysis. Speaking of watching, this looks like a whole movie theater. This might have been a screen room for testing new episodes or movies. I'm a dedicated man to media, very dedicated, and love digesting the recent fads within our society. You would be the type of person to watch a show like this. The hell? A mask? Waiting any moment for Jim Carrey to pop out around a corner and shove his horrible paintings down our throat? Well, we have absolutely zero room in our suitcase. We need to find a save point so I can move some of this crap over. We might have to discard a couple things. Depending on the size of everything, it can get pretty limited when it comes to spacing. Got it. I wonder if there's anything we can get rid of now. There probably is, but I would just wait until the save room. I doubt you can, but we don't want to throw away something important. If we saw Flock after all this time, I would kick Obama in the nuts. Not even being rude here, Don, but do you have the physical capacity to even lift your leg up to your hip? Okay, knee you in the nuts. He got out? More importantly, is he sucking on a Jolly Rancher? This is what it sounds like when you eat around us, Don. I am nowhere near that bad. He spotted us. Automatic nope. I don't even want to know how the hell we take down that thing. Possibly with the punctuation. But that would be my only guess. I just don't want to 
another token. I just don't really want to fight that thing at all right now. With his size, he's a king for the ring. And I really don't want to restart all the way back in the damn basement. Let's just see if he's still out there. Okay, good. He left. Not without leaving a mess, though. He probably thought those puppets in the theater were a buffet of delectable dishes. Something tells me we might need a bigger fridge if we're going to have him around. Don may have a rival for our grocery bill. Listen, I spend double of that on DoorDash. You know those beach whales that end up near the shore? If you value what little time you have left, don't finish that sentence. Oh, the music rings out once again. Finally, a safe room. Only took us across the bridge to Terabithia. There's another one of those masks. We can do something with that once we get our inventory set up. Wait, someone's phone ringing? Why the hell is my phone ringing? I told you guys not to disturb me while we're recording. I guess, what is it? I've been what? What's going on? I'm gonna wring your neck, Joe. Roll the outro.